Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Ruben Jr. Today I'm going to be talking about the time, the period under Leonid Brezhnev. But before I talk about that, I'm going to I'm going to talk about the 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 subject, the facts I missed under I missed when I published my first video under my fam my family's life under Nikita Khrushchev. So details I missed in the video were that. In the late sixties, so late sixties, communist China was asking for Soviet Union for nuclear secrets. Was asking for nuclear secrets from the Soviet Union under Nikita Khrush under its leader Nikita Khrushchev, and Khrushchev refused to give China's nuclear secrets to China. To refused to give China nuclear secrets. So relations with China and Soviet Union were weakening, and it and they were no longer allies anymore. So after after that, before that, in nineteen fifty nine, when Khrushchev was on a visit to United States, with his wife, his wife I believe, and he was in a Pepsi contest and he was drinking Pepsi and he thought Pepsi was very good, so he said, "Oh, this I like Pepsi a lot." I don't know if this is actually a true story, but I think. But I think it's true. I researched it and it had a lot of images on it. So Khrushchev was in a Pepsi contest and he was drinking so many bottles of Pepsi. And Khrushchev said that, oh, this drink is very good. So I'm going to take it back to Soviet Union. And and Soviet Union was making huge bottles of Coke, of Pepsi. And people started drinking it throughout the country. And, his, and Khrushchev's nickname was... Kukaruznik. Kukaruznik means that someone who likes corn. And there's a lot of images of it on Google. If you type it in, you could see pictures of Nikita Khrushchev holding corn during that time. And and the in the early I think it was between the 1950s after Stalin's death and 1960s, Soviet Union was building so many factory no not factories we were building so many apartments it was up to 60 million apartments in in Soviet Union and so they were making huge so many apartment buildings so people could live in there so they could live there and that that project was known that construction project was known as Khrushchev's project that lasted from 9 I think it was between 1960s and 19, uh, 1950s and 60s during that time. So now back to Comrade Brezhnev. So Brezhnev was the, the former general secretary of the Communist Party of Soviet Union, which meant he was basically the leader of the country. From 1964 to 1982, when he, when he overthrew Kurt, Comrade Khrushchev from power as its leader of the country, all the way to 1982, when com when Comrade Brezhnev died in Moscow. So Brezhnev was in power for quite a long time, for almost for almost twenty almost twenty years. The he was the second person to be in power in Soviet Union following, following Comrade. Joseph Stalin, who was the dictator of Soviet Union for 30 years. So Brezhnev time was was kind of relaxed during that time because people were not people were not being killed like under the previous leader Stalin. They didn't think that Brezhnev was kind of scary, but and Brezhnev time was much better than Stalin time because the oil price the oil price because the oil prices in Soviet Union increased and there was a lot of stuff in the shelves and the supermarkets and and in the grocery stores and throughout all Soviet Union. And that was and people in Soviet Union really loved Brezhnev. And there was also a lot of jokes of Brezhnev's eyebrows and and they were so big. They were huge. And people were started making fun of his eyebrows. And there was also another joke during that time that when Brezhnev would go to other nations, other communist nations, like for example, East Germany or to some other or whatever uh, other communist nations, there is also a famous picture on Google. If you look the picture up of Leonid Brezhnev kissing 
the the East German counselor, I, I don't remember his name exactly, but he was kissing him like and I mean I'm talking about like he was kissing other men on the lips. And that was and people were just well were laughing at it because they thought it was funny during that time. And then there was another joke. I there was another joke. I think it was he really loved having medals, Brezhnev. He loved having medals. He had, if you look it up, he has a lot. He has like a lot of medals on his uh, on his clothes. He has like a lot of medals. He has the Soviet Union medals, the Hero of Socialist Labor, which was the highest labor in Soviet Union, and the Hero of Soviet Union, the Marshal of Soviet Union. They, he had so many medals during that. He had so many medals. So, yeah, and then he was, he was loved by so the Soviet people, and people in Soviet Union really loved him. But then he told so many lies to Soviet people. He said that, he said that well, and and so in some time, right in so. The Soviet Union is going to be a, democ a de democratic country. We're going to have democracy. That was, that was crap. That was all lies. It was brainwashing people. And people were so brainwashed in that country during that time. And he and, there, and his rule, Brezhnev's rule was famous for its corruptions. Uh, there was a huge, huge corruption going on following... The invasion of Afghanistan, which took place in 1979, when Brezhnev gave the order for Soviet Union to invade Afghanistan in December 1979, which lasted for 10 years. And that was a huge, huge corrupt, and that led, that led to the oil prices decreased, and that led to Soviet Union dissolving. And that was a huge corruption following that invasion. And people didn't know and people didn't know what was going on because Soviet Union kept everything a secret from the people of the country to, to the people of the country so yeah that was kind of um, strange they kept everything secret from the United States they kept everything secret from its people they didn't want anyone to knew, know what was going on in that country and and in that same year, in 1979, he also met with, Brezhnev also met with, with United States President, United States President Jimmy Carter. Though the two leaders signed a detente, I think it was in Vienna, Austria. They signed a detente promising not to use any nucle nuclear weapons against each other. Same thing took place in 1973. Uh, six years before he met with Jimmy Carter, he met with Nick. He met with Richard Nixon, the U.S. president at the time, and they were talking about this, talking about relations with the United States and Soviet Union during that time. So, he he was already very old when in the early seventies, in the early no early in the early eighties. This was 1980, 1980, 1981, 1982, when he got very old. And he was getting ridiculous for the peop for the people of the country. So Brezhnev really got sick, and so Brezhnev really got sick throughout the late seventies and to the early eighties, and he was in the hospital, actually, because in nine if you remember in nineteen seventy five, Brezhnev suffered his first heart attack, that and then he was in. Quite, he was in the hospital for a long time. He was in the hospital. And also, 1975 was when my father became, when my father turned 20 during that time, because he was born in 1955 in Armenia, which was then one of the republics of Soviet Union during that time, or the USSR. So, Bre and when Brezhnev was, got sick, he was like very incapable, like very not serious for taking out for ruling the country because this po guys and the members in the Politburo had to fill in for him while he was absent. And and this members of the Politburo like Yur Yuri Andropov, Dmitry Ustinov, Mikhail Suslova, Suslov had to take over while he was sick.
while he was absent during that time. And in the in, in the early in the early eighty in the early eighties, like in nineteen eighty, this we had the Summer Olympics in Moscow during that time. So he gave a speech and the gave the speech at the Olympics during that time. And he saw the Olympic rings, the Olympic rings, if you remember. So he saw the Olympic rings. He gave he gave a speech, and then he thought the old the Olympic signs. We just read them like oh oh, and one of the Soviet officials went to Comrade Brezhnev, spoke behind Comrade Brezhnev. He said he said Bre Comrade Brezhnev, those are not O's. There are Olympic symbols, and so so two years later. Comrade Brezhnev died of a heart attack on, on November 10th, 1982. So my father remembers that day. My father remembers that day when Brezhnev died because my father was in a restaurant. He was a nuclear scientist. My father was a nuclear scientist in Soviet Union because he was studying in Moscow during that time. And then he was in a restaurant. My father was in a restaurant during that time when Brezhnev died. And when he was in the restaurant, my my there was some guy there was some music playing in the there was some music playing in the restaurant. Then some pl Soviet police officers came into the rest came into the restaurant and everything was quiet. And then the and then they left for some reason. I don't know what the reason was. They just left the reason, and people didn't know what was going on during that time. So when Brezhnev died. In 1980, on November 10th, 1982, there was no TV for three days. There was no TV for three days when he died. So following Brezhnev's death, the members of the Politburo were discussing who was going to be the new leader of Soviet Union. So, so two days later, they decided that the new leader of Soviet Union was going to be Comrade Yuri Andropov. Who at the time who was the chairman of the KGB for almost 20 years from 1967 to 1982 so yeah that's the story of my family's life in Soviet Union under comrade Brezhnev so in next video I'm going to be talking about the era the time period the period under Yuri Andropov Konstantin Chernenko, and Mikhail Gorbachev. So I'll see you in the next video, and I'm out.